what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk recently I had reported that Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson were most likely back together only to find out now this guy has moved on and it's very interesting because you know we're in a different time and day where men are uh, performing roles that they typically didn't do before um, like house husbands stay-at-home dads things like that women are out working this is not still as common but it's not uncommon to see these things especially successful women getting with men who make less money than them but what we see in those relationships is that the man is not getting any respect and i'm here to tell you ladies you know as, as, as sure as i'm black i don't care how much money a man makes or how little he makes i don't care what race he is i don't care if you got a man that's younger or older than him than you that is a man that wants some respect okay as sure as i'm black and the problem that many women have is you think you love a man okay you think you respect a man but it's not to the level that he wants and that's why you see so many men disinterested in relationships. When a woman says, oh, I, oh, I love him. Oh, I love you. You know I love you. But love love to what? Like, what does the love do? Every guy listen to this video, when a woman says she loves you, what does that mean? For most men, it doesn't mean anything because the love doesn't do anything. There's nothing tangible that the love produces. Respect. I respect you. How? Respect is an action word. What do you do that shows me you respect me? Oh, to most men, nothing. So I'm going to tell you, she can say she loves this guy. She's crazy about this guy. What does Kiki Palmer do after they get divorced? Okay. She does another musical collab with Usher, which is his new song called Boyfriend. Pretty much making fun of the Darius Jackson situation. Now, let me just say this. If she respected this guy, she wouldn't even do that. Listen, you know, uh, Usher, I got in some trouble with you last time when you were serenading me and I had my ass cheeks out here showing. So I'm not going to do that. But see, Kiki Palmer is about herself. It's about her career. It's about her situation. So she's going to say, look, I don't care if it does make you feel bad. This is what I'm going to do. And a lot of times you see that with our ladies they want to have relationships they want to be married but they're never going to compromise and this is one of the things you're seeing a lot of young women having problems with they want men to compromise yet they're not willing to compromise and they want to see things from a very unilateral view okay a very a, a, a very um you know i would say bigoted lane view while at the same time looking for men to be more understanding when they ain't understanding Press one if you know what I'm talking about, brothers. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of these sisters out here not understanding, okay? A man can talk to you. And this is something I know about black men, right, in general. I'm not talking about no abusive man. I'm talking about a good man. He, You know, you're doing something that he don't like. This man will come and talk to you about it. I know that's a lot of good black men do. Listen, baby, you know, you, what you're doing here, like, let's say asking for money. Like, nickel and diamond, somebody. One thing a black man hates is nickeling and diamond. It ain't like that we don't want to give you the money, but don't be asking me every five goddamn minutes. If you need something, come and come and have an ask. Think about what you need. Let me try to put into the budget. Let me go ahead and do that for you. So you ain't got to be asking me every five minutes. That's most men, right? Black men in particular, especially because we we used to women nickel and diamond. A lot of black women like nickel and diamond your ass. Okay. Money for gas, money for this, money for that. It's but but then you keep doing it. What you're showing me is you don't respect what I'm saying if you're gonna keep nickel and diamond. You're not respecting what I'm saying. Okay? I've asked you nicely and then you go and do the same thing again. So now I've asked you not to go out there, put your dress on, you're showing all kind of booty cheeks. Please don't disrespect me. I know I'm your man. I might not make as much money as you. I might not be Kiki Palmer, but I am your partner and we have a child together. I expect you, despite who you are as a woman, to really look at who I am and respect my feelings because you chose to have baby by me and not do that. What does she go and do? I'm going to double down and I want to trend more than I want to be your partner and you should just deal with it. So he told her silly ass, 
Hell to the no, I'm out. Now, let me just say this. As men who are rich and wealthy and have money, that's not going to, even if you do, that don't mean you got to uh, hurt a woman's feelings. You still need to be considerate of how she feels. Would you agree? Yeah. If I'm going to be in a relationship with somebody, it, what, what I do and how much I earn don't matter. I need to be considerate of who I'm dealing with. But when women get some money, shoot, boy, the, considerate of what? They're not going to be considerate a lot of times. You better take what they're doing. If you don't like it, you can take your ass on. Hey, they don't need you. And they'll let you know they don't need you. What are you talking about? Take Go, Jigga. You need to you need to get, get yourself together and take your ass on. So what he said, he said, it ain't worth it being with you. I ain't going to get no respect. I am going to go. And then you know what? One more time, girl, you don't need him. No way, girl. Girl, he girl, he wasn't nobody, girl. You can do better than that. Not with the attitude, you not. That's what y'all gotta understand. Y'all think that funky ass attitude with not respecting men is gonna get you somewhere? Th that's the last thing you want to do is not respect a man. Especially a man that is trying to be in a relationship with you, trying to do nice things for you, and you show that man disrespect. Like what kind of person? See, this is what they think. They think they can just show a man any kind of disrespect and he gonna deal with it. What well, what man is gonna deal with that? It clearly is the same thing with a woman. A woman, should she stay because a man got some money and you disrespecting her? Hell no. You chose to be in a relationship with her. You should have some respect for it, shouldn't you? But that ain't what they doing. Most women ain't doing that. You know, disrespecting you uh, 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 and, and they feel like, hey, look, take the disrespect because I said so. Hold on now. So this man was like, look, I'd rather go ahead on and do what I got to do for myself. I'd rather go ahead on and, 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 and get it popping. I'd go ahead and do something different. I don't need her. Look, I'm not putting up with that stuff. I'm going to be all right in whatever I'm doing. And God damn it, hats off to him. And I'm going to tell you, man, once these women show you they don't respect you, bro, it ain't even worth dealing with them no more, man. Because I'm going to tell you, some dudes will be like, man, my girl cheated on me. You know what I'm saying? She cheated on me. And, uh, but man, I'm still going to hit it, you know, because, you know, head is head. And I don't, nah, bro. See, some of you guys young, man, you, you, all you're going to do is go down that road, bro. You're going to go ahead and start hitting it again. And you can do that. But what you're going to find out is that she still don't respect you. And you want your respect more than you want that cooch, especially if you like her. If a woman that you like don't respect you, it's the most, it's the worst feeling in the world. I don't care what she just did. If a woman that will let you have sex with her and don't respect you and you have some level of feelings for her, there's nothing that feels worse than that as a man. Okay. Especially if you're some of an accomplished man, you're a man that has done something for yourself and that woman is, 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 is not respecting you, especially when you feel like another woman would. Oh, you're going to have a real big problem with that. Trust me. And at that point, it ain't even worth you sleeping with her because she don't respect you. So she don't respect you. Like, I don't need to give you no D. We don't need to talk. We don't need to do nothing because you don't respect me. So like, I might as well just go ahead and go away because you don't because the things I need you to do, you clearly don't want. It don't matter that you want to have sex because like I'm going to tell you guys all, all the top all, off top, right? Just because a woman will have sex or suck some D, that don't mean she respecting you. That's not submission. Submission is not just sucking D and, and, and bouncing booty. Submission means that when I want you to do something that you would do, but it hurt my feelings and it's not respectful, I'm not going to do it because of how you feel and I want to make this work. That is being submissive. Words of sacrifice. These ladies are not talking about doing that. They want the men to do that, but they, they, you know, they don't, they don't want to show no sacrifice. So you need to sacrifice for them. And they can love you in whatever kind of, you know, devious, silly ass way that don't make no sense for you to die just as a man. And that's the problem that men and women have. Like, you know, on the man's side, he's asking you clearly not to do that. You're still doing that. And you feel justified to doing that because you can. So he's going to leave your ass alone. Which you should. Because ain't no point staying there. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. 
back at it again with another episode of A Celebrity Drunk. Put your fire, you deserve the bell. We're out. Thank you.